We all know the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, love peace, joy, joy long-suffering, long suffering, patience, all of that kind of stuff. We all know what that is. But do we know what the gifts of the Spirit are? 1 Corinthians um, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at the first verse. What I'm going to do, excuse me, I'm going to speak more on prophecy. Um, probably take me a couple of three weeks to get through it, but um, I'm going to introduce you to the gifts of the Spirit today. Okay? Um, they're awesome, and to let you know that anyone can have these if you ask for them and if you pray for them and if you desire them. So we're going to start in the first, just to introduce you to these, we're going to start in the first verse of uh, chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Amen. So do you have your Bibles open there? Because I want you to really grasp what God is trying to tell us. We kind of just look over these things. But God desires us to have the gifts that he so freely gives to us. And we need to re realize that and walk in that and do what God has said for us to do. So here we are, chapter 12. Spiritual gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, brethren, who's the brethren? He's talking to us. He's talking to the church right now. Mm -hmm. So he's not talking to someone that's way back because this word is for us now Amen. and in the future. So this word, we can take this word and know that it is for us now. So many people say, well, that's not for now, but I'm telling you right now it is. If it wasn't for now, God would not have put it in here. Right. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. How many of us have been ignorant about the spiritual gifts? Yeah. Okay, let me not put anybody, they're not doing anything. I'm just saying what the Holy Spirit has spoken to me about, this, uh, about these things. Paul said, don't be ignorant. Why are we ignorant? Because we don't know. Because we don't know. Because we don't study. Because we don't study. Because we don't find out what God's word is telling us to do. I mean, we may I'm not saying anybody does not study. I'm not I'm not please don't don't get me wrong. I'm just saying we'll read through the Bible and we study great things. We have a great teacher sitting right there. We've got another one coming up right here. And I know that they study. We got Harvey in the back and definitely know he studies. And, um, but how much do we, do we, the, the congregation, study the Word of God? How much do we look into depth of it? Do we go into a Greek sometimes and see what the Greek word might actually mean? Because sometimes a definition of a word in this Bible, what we might think it is, is, is exactly the opposite of what we think it is. So you see, God is saying, get into my word, study my word, know what I'm talking about when I talk to you about the, the nine gifts of the, of the Spirit. And you might say, well, I'm not worthy to do this. But you know what? Are you saved? Yes. yes. You know what? God makes us worthy. Right. And all we have to do is do what God wants us to do. It's as simple as that. And we make it difficult. Somewhere in Hosea, uh, God said to the people, He said, "My people will perish because for lack of knowledge." Uh huh. Right. And that was because we don't. We can read this scripture all we want to now concerning yes. spiritual growth, but I would not have you be ignorant. Mm -hmm. And we can read it and read it and read it, but if we don't decipher it down, get a commentary. And like yes. you said, try to get into maybe what the Greek. What does ignorant mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't want you to be ignorant about right. this about these gifts. So I'm gonna teach you about them. So but you gotta take all nine gifts and and separate them yeah. and find out what they, what they, they mean. are. Because it doesn't really mean 
Uh, <coughs> if you just say that, well, I have to, it's a gift of faith. But what kind of faith? Yes. We all have a measure of faith. Uh -huh. But the gift of faith is different. Different. That's right. Okay, so when, when, when he said ignorant here, let's go back. I would not have you ignorant. And I'm reading down below that in the uh, commentary. It says, uh, proclaiming the Spirit of God through Paul, saying he wanted the entirety, and that means everybody of the church, to know about these gifts. He's not just saying that the pastor has to know about them, or that Sister Judy or Sister Ann has to know about them. The entirety of the church needs to know about these, these um, gifts. In verse 2, you know that you were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols even as you were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but only by the Holy Spirit. Verse 4. We're talking about the diversities. You know what that is? Different kinds of, of gifts. Diversity, that's the word. Different kinds of gifts. There's so many different kinds of gifts, and there's so many ways that God can really t uh, move in those gifts. Now there are diversities of gifts, which simply means different kinds of gifts. But, how many of you know, it's the same spirit. It's not a different kind of spirit. What spirit do we have? The Holy Spirit. The Holy spirit. What is the Holy, <laughs> what does the Holy Spirit do for us? Comforters and Comforters. Guides. Comforts, guides, he directs us. He does all, how many of us let him do that? See, what we're going to try to do is learn how to let the Holy Spirit work through our lives. How, how are we going to hear, these are the things I want to do covering the prophecy over the next few weeks. Um, how the Holy Spirit can work of why the Holy Spirit would work through us, how he works through us, and when he works through us. Those are things that I want to cover, probably not this week, but probably next week I will. Today we're going to introduce you into all of the gifts of the Spirit. So there's diversity of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations administrations okay tell me what you think that is anyone different ministers and different, different ministries. offices yeah different offices different um, ministries so there are different differences of administrations but the same Lord so there's no difference in in um, whatever your pastor he's serving the same God that I'm serving it's the same spirit it's the same Lord there's no difference there there's diversities in the gifts but not in the spirit of God it's the same spirit and there are diversities of operations okay what's that mean to you Wait. operations Diversities of that's the results of what uh, the uh, gifts do. I mean, see, these are things that we need to talk about. These are things that we need to know. Um, that it, God doesn't always work in one way. God works in several different ways. Um, and so we, so we go, we we might get confused because sometimes we think that well, God should do it this way. Because this is the way he did it last time. Mm -hmm. But God does it in different ways. It's diversity in the ministry that God does. Right. Different ways. Right. So we need to know these things. So that when something happens, it's got to all be biblical. Don't get me wrong. It's got to all be biblical. But we got to know there's diversities. There's different types of, of things that God will do. Sometimes, for instance... Sometimes, maybe when we're praising up here, 
the Holy Spirit will call on one of us to, to start speaking in tongues. That's the Holy Spirit. Okay. And we and we need to obey that. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe the Holy Spirit will say, Well, I want you to tell somebody this. Okay, we're gonna get into a little bit of prophecy, but I don't you know, I don't I don't want to do that right now. But we gotta know that the Holy Spirit works in different ways. In different ways. Is uh, cleaning the church a ministry? Yes, yes. it is. It I is. do believe it is. Yes. People have to remember everybody has different ministries. That's right. And a lot of times they don't realize that's a ministry. It yes. is. But it is. Anything you do for God is a ministry. Right. It, you don't always have to be a teacher, preacher, pastor, okay. evangelist, or any of the fivefold. You know, but you need anything you do. Cleaning the church is definitely uh, helps. That's help. Helps is mm -hmm. a, is a is a um, one of the gifts. Is one of the gifts. Mm -hmm. So there's there's really a lot of gifts that God has given us. Mm -hmm. But we're going to focus on these right here. But help the person that helps. That's a gift. Mm -hmm. A person that can go to the hospital and pray for people. I really believe that's a gift. Yeah. Because everybody cannot do that. No. I believe um, being a nurse or being a doctor is a gift because everybody cannot do that. Right. So different, the help that my Anna gives, she's got a gift of, of helping, of pouring out things for people. She's got the gift of prayer. And prayer, yes. She, but she, she also... She'll she, pray for them right in the hallway. She will. And she has a gift of helping people when they're in need. She has a gift of hearing God speak to her when he wants her to do something. She she hears that. And that's what we want to get into later on in this too. How do we hear God? How do we hear him? Mm -hmm. So everything that, that we do, we do, the Bible says we should do it as we are doing it unto the Lord. Right. So everything, when Sister Marguerite comes in and cleans this church, she does it fantastically. Because she does it as she's doing as she's doing it for the Lord. When, when our musicians play, they play the best they can. And that's a ministry right there in itself. A music ministry. Um, a video camera ministry. Um, a computer ministry. Um, a knowledge and wisdom ministry. You know, sometimes if we don't listen to Sister Judy, I don't know where we'd go. You know, we can get crazy sometimes. <laughs> well, some people that work in the church and do a lot of things behind the scenes, uh huh. they don't understand that that's their ministry. That's the ministry that and, they do. And that's what they're doing, yeah. you know, for the Lord. And if we don't understand if there's an intercessor in our church, yes. they intercede for us. We don't know that, but that's a ministry. Yes, Anything we do for God is a ministry. Anything. And when we do it, we need to do it to the best of our ability. Right. So we know there's differences of administration and there are diversities of operations. But it's the same God which works in all. Right. When he asks you to clean the church, that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. That's the Holy Spirit that gives her the energy and the strength and the want to. Okay, here's something else. Not everybody wants to clean the church. Yeah. <laughs> you have, I'm telling you, it is a special ministry. Because everybody does not want to clean the church. Mm -hmm. Everybody does not want to come down and work two hours and vacuuming and dusting and cleaning the toilets and everything like that, two or three hours, I don't know how long it takes you. Everybody does not want to do that, and I'm telling you, that is a wonderful gift from God. And it has to be in your heart that you want to do it. In any ministry that you're in, it has to be in your heart that you want to do it. The Holy Spirit has to drop it. You know, even picking people up from church. That's a ministry. There's so many ministries, and we think there's only tongues. We think there's only this. We think there's only prophecy. We think there's only help uh, you know all of these nine gifts there's so many gifts in the ministry we don't even know we don't even think about it I could probably turn over a couple pages and Paul would mention another gift so we need to know that when people 
are doing something and they're doing it for God, it's a ministry. That's right. When Harvey is even at home working on the computer, that's his ministry. Yes, it is. It's a blessed ministry. Yeah. My, our son is very good with a camera. That will probably be his ministry. Don't think you don't have a ministry because you have to want it and desire it mm -hmm. to have it. You have to really want a gift from God. You have to covet that gift that you want. Sure. Something that you wanted, um, we don't give up until we get a, what, a new car or, or, or something like that. We do not give up. We go to every person that we can go to to try to borrow that money for a down payment or try to borrow that money for to buy that car. We don't give up and do, doggone we get it. Right. That's called covenant. covenant. We need to covet the gifts that God gives us. Even if you think you don't have a gift, you do. You got one, Jess. Everybody's got a gift. Everybody's got a gift. Everybody. He does not call us to just sit and not do anything. I don't care if it's um, I, I, whatever it is. <laughs> God wants you to be active in His ministry. Yes, right. He really does. He wants us to be active in our church. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to see a big change coming around. I, I feel like there's a big change coming here. And um, it's started. It's already started. And God is going to teach us some things that we have never thought about before. But we have to get that desire inside of us. It does. And then once that desire starts, then oh, the fire. congregation needs we'll to get, get it behind the people yeah. and the leaders because that's yes. what pushes them yes. to keep going. Because if you keep tearing down the leaders, <coughs> they're they're going they're not they're gonna push back. You need to tear down the church. So I mean, we're Christians, right? We want to build the church up. That's right. Not we don't want to tear anybody down if you know and it's easy to do even and I don't really want to get into that but that's very easy to do very easy to do our ministry is to build up the church our ministry in whatever we do whatever God has called you to do whether it be whatever it may be that one of the nine gifts it may be cleaning the church it may be helping other people Whatever it is, God has called you to do it, and we need to do it, and we need to do it with love. Mm -hmm. And we need to covet that. We need to say, God, I want to do more. God, I want to do more for you. I want to do more. I don't want to just sit here on the bench and not do anything. I want to do more. Even if it's prayer at home, do what God has asked you to do, because if you want to see our church grow and bloom and blossom like the rod of Aaron's did, I think it was Aaron, how it how it budded first, and then it, it bloomed, and then it blossomed. That's what we're in the bud season right now. Okay? Right. We're in the bud season. If you want to see it bloom, you want to see it blossom, you get involved with the ministry in our church. Harvest is there. Yes. Amen. So anyway, we'll get back to the gifts. Well, we were talking about gifts because anything you do with the church, within the church, if I want to come and, and I, I've talked a little bit about doing a class of, uh, of um, crafts, that's something the Holy Spirit dropped in my heart. I mean, I love to do it, but that's something the Holy, and, when I, and, and if we do it, I'm going to do it with everything that is within me because I'm doing it unto the Lord. And we need to covet those ministries. Amen? Amen. We need to covet them. Do you know what covenant means? Want to do them want, so bad. Want to do them so bad. But God has, we have a covenant with God. God has a covenant with us. Right. The will to do it. Yeah. You want that desire. That desire to do what, what, you're, what you're doing. And there are diversities of operation, verse 6. Different ways the gifts work. But it is the same God which works all in all. Now, we've got to understand, and I think you all do, 
that is not a different God. It's not a different Holy Spirit that gives you the, the ministries. It's the same God. It's the same Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that is within you. He lives in here with us. What's the purpose? Verse 7. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man profit with all. What's that mean to you? Somebody, come on, let's get some input here. If you don't know, we're going to try to try to help you with it. When, when you use those gifts, it has to profit everyone. If, if it's anything that, that tears something down, then you have to be really cautious listening to that person because that can't be from the Holy Spirit. Okay, so what is our purpose of it's the gifts? The What's our purpose? Give me three different things. Remember, Sister Judy taught on them a few months, quite a while ago. What do are we supposed to do with the gifts? Edify. Huh? Edify. Lift up. Exhort. We do nothing but lift up. We lift up the church. We lift up people. We do not, with the ministry that we have, whatever God has called you to do, we lift people up in that. That's right. We cannot put people down. If we put people down, if we don't pray about what we've got to, some I'm, correction, yes, there's got to be correction. But if we don't pray about that, we're going to get in trouble. So, we need to lift people up. We need to exhort people. We need to tell them. Tell them in a way that the whole church, when we speak in tongues, and there's an interpretation, is it a down, thumbs down, or thumbs up? Always thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs up all Always. the time. If there's a prophecy spoken from pastor or whoever, is it a thumbs down, or is it a thumbs up? It's always up. Always up. Always. Thumbs up. Always. If it's Always. interpreted and it is negative, it did not come from the Holy Spirit. No. That's right. If somebody interprets something and it's negative, then yep. you know that it's not from the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. That's how we check. That's how we check it. Somebody comes up to you and says, Thus saith the Lord, and they say something to you and it's negative, about you or anything else you can you know for a fact that it is not from God that's right God will not say anything to you to tear you down so the ministries he only are, builds you up the ministries that we're going to talk about uh, are, is to build you up and help us into the kingdom of God okay. it will not put us down I'm no. telling you it will not no. and I I Sister Judy, I'm going to repeat that. Did you hear all, everybody hear what Sister Judy said? Yes. If someone comes to you in negativity, that is not of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Not. Okay? There is a way to correct, but like I said, when you're correcting, you better make sure the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding you into the way that it should be said. Or you're going to be in trouble. So everything that we do should be led and guided by the Holy Spirit. Right. Now everybody can't say I do that, and I'm one of them, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be led by the Spirit. I'm really trying hard. I'm trying not to um, speak negativity anymore. That's why we're saying this morning we're praying for. Sister Marguerite, you know, we speak life over those people. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the power of God. It's it's uh, The tongue can bring life or death, and I speak life over our people. Yeah. And, you know, Sister Kathy taught on the, the in Ezekiel about the bones, the dry bones. What was it? Dry bones. Dry bones. Those dry bones. And I was going to preach on that. I told her, in fact, I told her, I'm going to preach on that because I've got a sermon for that. But um, God had other plans for me, so <laughs> instead we're doing this. But um, anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. 
we're going to go on down here and we're going to read. Uh, and by the end of this um, session, I think Harvey's going to teach Wednesday night. Is, is that right? I don't, I don't know. I forgot. But anyway, um, by the end of our session on, on, on the nine gifts of the Spirit, excuse me, I want you to pay close attention because there will be a small test. Nothing, nothing that, uh, you know, to make you feel stupid or dumb or anything like that. Just to see for yourself what you have learned. Which we should learn um, the nine gifts. We should learn them. Um, okay, here they go. Verse 8. For to one is given, talking about the gifts. For to one gift is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. That's one of the gifts. And uh, I'm going to read in the commentary here what it says. It pertains, the word of wisdom pertains to information concerning the future, whether of people, places, or things. To another, the word of knowledge. It concerns the past or the present, relative to persons, places, or things. It is to be noted that it is the word of, which means a small amount, by the same spirit because we don't know everything as a whole right now right we don't know everything the bible says it's not real clear to all of us right now the only time we're going to know everything is when we get to heaven yes. is that not right amen we don't know everything because he said paul said whoever said it in the bible said because we're looking into a glass that's filmy that's right. froggy you can't see through. so we can't see everything right now so God will give us some, a small amount of what he wants us to know. But by the same spirit, to another faith. Everybody has a measure of faith. And this is what Jimmy Swaggart's Bible says, a special faith. faith. Okay, to you, what is the special faith? What does that mean to you? Everybody has a faith. But according to this Bible here and what the thing says, there's a very special gift of faith. What is it? What is it? When you believe in something so much. Yes. My faith was I know Antonio was going to get healed. Okay. It took a long time, but it was God's will. And I had faith in the Lord. He was going to do it. Okay, so in the Bible here, it says a special faith. I would call that a very special faith. You have faith that God is going to heal. This is ex that's exactly what the commentary says. The, the, a faith, a special faith by the same spirit to um, another, the gifts of healing, um, praying for the sick, the gift of healing, uh, praying for the sick. That's a special, special faith. Um, but by the same spirit, to another, the working of miracles. How many of you have ever seen a miracle? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You've seen miracles. I know my yes. Anna has. These are all things that God wants us to have. And do we not have faith sometimes when, okay, let me go off here a little bit. When it's talking about that special faith, we believe in the Bible what the Bible says. That's what we say, right? Right. We believe there's a healing. We believe by his stripes we, we are healed, and we believe that by what? Faith. Faith, faith in no other way. But then do, does our minds wander off yep. yes. to left field? <laughs> and then what happens? We get on that dividing line. You've got one foot here and one foot here. Maybe, um, I don't know, uh, could be, but I don't know. Do you do that? Do we yep. do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the special faith is that we never, ever, 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 ever give up. We don't ever do that. We keep on going. I don't care how dim the circumstances look. You pray for that healing. That's that special faith that you believe God is going to heal. And if he doesn't, you've got to recognize that it's his will and not ours. But I want you all to know that you never, 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 never give up on your praying for it, 
for the good thing. Mm -hmm. Too know, many times we do. You know that you know that you know. that you know that you know that you know. That you know, that you know stand on what, that word. What the word of God says. Mm -hmm. It says, by his stripes, mm -hmm. we are, healed. we were healed. And we need to stand on that. And I believe that's the special faith that we all need to get into. And I believe the left field should be taken out. Because we will say, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. I, I don't know. What kind of faith is that? It's a special faith. It's a faith that you believe so strongly that there is never a doubt that comes into your mind right. that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that's going to happen. That God is going to perform it. Yes. Whether it takes a day, a year, or Whatever. years, He's going to do it. That special faith where you know that God's going to do it. I don't worry about anything to do with this church. I don't worry about how the bills are going to get paid, how the rent's going to get paid, or anything. This church belongs to Him. He keeps the door open. It's His business, and That's He right. runs it. That's right. And if we worry about it and fret about it, we're just going to make ourselves sick. You can't do anything about it. It's right. His. It, it's His. It, and until it we get get to that point, which took me a long, long time to do. You have to get to that point where you trust Him no matter what. That's, That's it. Right. That's you, it you can see the numbers. You can see the negative marks. You can see whatever. But you know that it is in God's hands. That's right. And, that, and, and you leave it there. You walk and that's away that and you special leave faith. It. And that's the kind of faith we need to have. That's what we have to have. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and too many of us don't have it. You talk about left field. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Good. So Good if scripture. you're out there in left field, you're unstable. Don't yes. look, and he also says, don't don't think you're going to get anything if That's you're right. double-minded. You're right. not going to get nothing if you're double-minded. Yeah. You don't know? get anything from God if you're double-minded. It's uh -uh. not going to happen. So what God is doing, he's trying to set us straight. Yes. He wants us to know what the, the gifts are. He wants us to know how to use them. And we have the authority, and we are, and we can use them. We just have to learn how. Yes. Let me finish up. It's ten thirty. Let me finish up here, and then we'll. Next week is going to be. We're going to get into um, some more things about uh, prophecy. Okay. So, to another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of the spirits. So that's something I would really like to teach on. I think that would be really good. To another, diverse tongues, diverse kinds of tongues. And to another, the interpretation of tongues. Mm -hmm. So next week, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to teach on some prophecy next prophecy. week. So you might want to read up a little bit about it. And it's going to be, it's going to be good. I've done a lot of work on it. Um, studying and everything so I, I think it's going to be really good.